pretty good. Just uh, getting back out there, getting in the swing of the routes and everything, and trying to get the timing back down, but I'm feeling good. 100%? And when were you 100%? When were you finally realized you were feeling back? Um, I want to say probably the start of mini camp, I was feeling good. Um, a little sore, but um, I feel feel way better coming into this week two OTAs, feel like myself, and I can go out there and be myself. When, they, when you went on IR last year, you were, had the designation that you could return, and I know mm -hmm. you were hoping that you would be ready for the end of the year. How difficult was that? I mean, after being so productive the year before, mm -hmm. to wind up missing all that time and, and and trying to work towards getting back, but never actually getting there. It was new for me. You know, I never really missed a game and never missed uh, a bunch of time like that. So it was um, really tough uh, building my mental side. I really had to mature, and and it was just new to me. You know, I had great trainers around me to help me get back and get my mind right and when I found out I wasn't coming back you know it really hurt I wanted to be out there with my team and, and finish strong but um everything happens for a reason I, I worked hard this all season and, and made sure I was strong to come back this year were there ways that you could improve yourself or even even your game when you're not playing I'm um, watching film yeah. you, you get a lot of time to watch film with the quarterbacks and uh you got to stay, stay tuned in. You know, you're not playing the game, so you can kind of drift. But I made sure I hung out with D.C. and the quarterbacks and, and just tried to watch uh, as much tape as I could and, and stay tuned in. You know a lot of people do this, and I don't know if you did or not, but you always watch the draft and see if they mm -hmm. draft somebody at your position. What did you think on draft day when Murray Cooper was selected? Oh, man, he has uh, explosiveness to the offense. I feel like uh, he's going to come in and make an impact right away. And I was excited, you know, more guys uh, – so um, it's going to take more, you know, take the defense off of guys like me, Crabtree, Dre, whoever's out there. So uh, the more playmakers you have, uh, the better you will be, and he's going to really help us win. This is the deepest group receiver you guys have had this season, or you think? Yeah, I think so. It also, it seems like a varied skill set from from yourself and and Bryce and, mm -hmm. and Andre. You guys are, are taller, lankier, and then now you've got a few few smaller, quick quicker guys. Mm -hmm. um, how varied are you from top to bottom, and, and what can you guys do or not do? I feel like um, all, the whole receiving group is complete. You put us on the outside, you put us in a slot. I feel like we really don't miss a beat. We can play outside in. It doesn't really matter, and we all interchangeable. So I think that's going to add a strength to us when we get out there on the field. It doesn't matter if we're outside, inside, slot, whatever. I think uh, it's going to make a big impact this year. Bob, do you think it'll, it'll delay, well, it's definitely going to delay, it's going to be problematic for Derek whatsoever. You guys learned in each game the fact that he's just not going mm -hmm. to some of the on-field drills with you. Do you think that in kind of learning all this together, it'll, it'll set things back a little bit once you guys get to training camp? Um, he's out there, so I feel like he's learning. Um, he's a pro, so he's going to do what he has to do to make sure he understands the play. Obviously, the timing won't be there, but uh, we have plenty of time for him to get back and uh, get, in the, get in the rhythm, and I think he's... He's good enough player to do that. It's a little frustrating in a sense that you missed all that time with him last year, and now you're ready to go, and, he, <laughs> yeah. and he's not throwing. Just flip flopping, right? <laughs> yeah, it's frustrating, but uh, you know, we'll, we'll get out there together soon and, and make some plays. It's uh, I talked to him and told him, you know, you just gotta be tough during these times and uh, continue to keep keep your head in the game no matter what. What, what do you like about the Falcons? Back here, impressed with the Kristen Ponder. Oh, he stepped right in. He's making throws. He's making plays. Uh, I feel like he's got a great offense, uh, great uh, now for the offense. So really didn't miss a beat. I feel like he came right in and did what he had to do. What do you like about this new new scheme? Um, like I said, we're as a receiver group, we're all interchangeable, and I feel like it's not just one guy's going to play outside, one guy's going to play inside. We're all everywhere. So I think that's going to be a, a big uh, key this year for us winning. Wait, was it uh, almost like learning a new language? I mean, is it that dramatic, the change in the offensive system from last year to this Year, this year? It's just concepts, you know. Once you get the concepts down, it's not too hard. Just the terminology is what you really got to focus on. But it doesn't take time. Just repetition of studying and things like that. How about Crabtree? What's he gonna bring for you? How to help your game as well? I feel like he's he's a great route runner. You've seen what he's done on the field already. And uh, like I said, it's, it's a deep receiving group. And I feel like the more weapons you have, the the better you're going to be. And he's going to bring that that route running game and, and, and ability to get open and play the slot, play outside. So I feel like this will be good. Christian Ponder, you know, was starting quarterback with the Vikings a few years ago, and he was the young guy. Mm -hmm. And now he comes in here. He's the wily veteran. 
you're heading into that territory now with the group that's here. How does that feel in just a few short years that, that you're kind of the older guy that, that has to mentor some of these guys? It's different, you know. Um, I talked to Amara, I talked to Andre DeBose and just told me, you know, when you come in, you're going to want to learn each position to play with. No matter what they say, you know, you're going to play X, you're going to play F. I just told him, like, when I came in the way I was successful was learning each position. So I just try to mentor him and uh, being an undrafted guy, making a team, I try to just to guide him, like, you know, you got to work hard, you got to do this, you got to do that. I just want to be like the guy that helped him anytime they need any advice. What's been your uh, impressions and thoughts of the strength and conditioning program with the new crew that's in? Like it. I feel like we're all getting stronger. Um, it's, it's a lot of different things, just conditioning-wise, we're on bikes. We're doing a lot of things, and I feel like it's really carrying over on the field because a lot of us feel great on the field. Do you enjoy the mentoring role? He's not really an old guy. Is that kind of like weird to you at all? Is he a mentor kind of? Um, not really. I, I just want to be successful. You know, I want the whole group to do good. So whatever I could do to help, whatever problems I went through, and I can give advice to the young guy, I try to be there for him. You know, and that's going to help us grow as a team and grow as a unit. You know, you mentioned um, watching tape while you were off. Mm -hmm. Do you watch? Differently, I mean, knowing that you weren't going to be playing, did that have you watching differently, watching for different things? Um, in a way, yeah. In a way, no. I, I knew I wasn't going to be out there, so I tried to learn different things, you know. I didn't really watch for, I guess, you know, our game plan going in. So I was just watching a particular D-back. I would watch a different coverage, and I would try to see like, how to get open against that, you know.